G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I have a very special video. I am going to be ranking the 2023 Indigenous Guernseys with none other than Stubber. Stubber, how are you, mate? Great, mate, good to be here, great to be here. And now, for people who don't know, you're a young Indigenous creator, you're a footballer, you're a TikToker, you're a streamer, you do it all, great man. Oh, we're chugging away, we're chugging away, staying on the grind, but yeah, definitely having fun. I'll kick things off with one that I think looks absolutely unbelievable, and they always do great uh, designs and kits in general is the GWS one. I'm leaning towards the 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 great category. I'm leaning towards mm. the great. What about yourself? I think great is definitely a good place to start. Now we can reshuffle a little bit later on if we get stuck. I saw a picture of Toby Bedford repping it and I just love the white, I love the orange, um, I love the whole design in general and I think GWS do some of the best Guernseys around. Yeah, I absolutely love this kit. Yeah, definitely. No, 100% agree with you. We'll do Geelong, the white one. Oh, geez, it's, it's hard to distinguish between that and the home. We'll do both at the same time, actually. I'm gonna put the white one in great. And for me personally, I reckon the blue one in good. I don't think it's as good as the white Guernsey. Yeah, definitely sucker for that white, like how the NBA have their home jerseys. Like they all have the white, but yeah. Nah, 100% agree with you. I'm gonna have a stab in the dark here. I reckon I'm gonna go with Melbourne's baby blue. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the outstanding. I just love that color. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's for me, like, that's just, we can definitely reshuffle, but I just love that colour. Well, you don't have to twist my arm to put a Melbourne Football Club <laughs> Guernsey at the top. Um, the baby blue is, yeah, one of my favourite designs. We always wear it for our Clash kids, and I just love what they've done with the front of it. I can talk you through sim uh, parts of it with most of the jerseys. So, um, so most of them have, you can kind of go, they look like, when I was when I was working at school, I was doing this for the few younger kids, and I'd say they look like a bit of a among us characters but the oh, yeah. little like u shapes there like they represent like people or um they can be boys and girls but most so what they've got with the d's in the middle they've got the circle and then the little u shapes all the way around they represent people mm. so that can be a so that whole uh symbol with the circles and then the u shapes around them that represents like the people or a meeting place um probably people's tribes or the area of melbourne but um yeah, that's, that's basically what the um, symbols of those U shapes are, and especially when they're around like circles in the middle. Who do you go for? North, go for North Melbourne, mate. Oh no, <laughs> we'll get onto their Guernsey soon. Um, I'm gonna grab the Bombers one, and I'm, I'm gonna put that in grey. I'm only because the colors aren't, I know the, I know that's what they were going for, but for me the colors just, they're, they don't stand out as much. So that's yeah. why I lean towards like the, maybe the, the good in between decent just because they they clash mm. quite a bit you know like I, I'm a sucker it's for very a jersey. dark yeah I'm a sucker for a jersey that loves a pop I'm gonna go with the Lions is that their way jumper the yellow one yeah 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 I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go great tier yeah good call just I just I just like the Lions always just have a good jumper for me um, and they've got, they've done with the, I believe it's like they were doing the, what's it, McGrath's, Ash McGrath's family's heritage as well. Yep. Um, and so they said they had the Swan River in Western Australia. I think that's up the top, I believe. Oh, yeah. Um, or was that on the left of it? And the right, they have the Brisbane River and the Gabba in the middle. So that meeting, see again, that meeting place. You yep. see with all the, yeah, so, um, yeah, I believe that's a Gabba. So that's all the people surrounding and like pretty much all coming together in one big meeting place. I'm gonna do your team. I'm gonna grab North. There's definitely like a footy oval design yeah. um, in the middle. I think most jumpers now that I'm looking at them have like that circular, yeah, potentially the footy place, oval yeah. or yeah, the meeting place design in the middle. I'm gonna put it in good. Where, you do you, know, where would you? I always think I was pretty disappointed with not like as much as like it's a great storyline <laughs> and overall design, but um, I'm I'm thinking towards a decent land for North, just like oh, I, I, I have so much potential for like what else they could do with the um with the overall design, but uh, just for me like as much as I'm a North fan, I just 
I don't think they've hit the nail on the head here. So I've whacked it in decent. Um, yeah. Do you want to take us through uh, the next one? Where are you going to chuck it? Uh, I'm going to go with the Saints jersey. And I'm going to put it in good. I would I would have put it much higher because I like to have got the, the Aboriginal flag colours. But I just feel like they could have they could have done more with maybe um, maybe with the the meeting place like the I'm certain I've got to double check but I'm pretty sure the meeting places on the side represent like maybe the families of um, some of the players but I just got to double check here yeah it represents the journey of the club and the First Nations people to celebrate their um, 150 year since anniversary but yeah nah, so I love the colours of gone with just because like it's it's different. Like not, mm. you know, no club's done that, and they can easily implement it with like their red, black, and yeah, white. True. Um, but yeah, I feel like they could have done a little bit more. So I'd love to put them higher, but I reckon they're pretty steady. I, good I do like that they have kept kept it simple, but potentially for me as well, like maybe a little bit more through the middle. Yeah. Um, could have really capped it off. I'm gonna grab one of my favourites. So obviously the D's played Friday night <laughs> against uh, Port Adelaide in this kit, and I think Port Adelaide's design is so cool like I, I like how it keeps sort of the traditional home guernsey colors but then takes it to a new level by applying like the white on their uh their black kit i, I think that really stands out um so i would almost put port adelaide's one in great and borderline outstanding where do yeah. you where do you think it should land nah, stubborn? yeah definitely definitely with you Definitely with you. I'm even thinking maybe even towards the outstanding for me. Yeah, I've worked but, um, in there. Yeah, definitely up the top. Definitely up the top. Going to go with Frio's Guernsey. And I'm looking towards uh, the decent. What they got has got the meeting place down on the left. I assume that represents like Frio, the area. And that by the looks of things, I think that's Tasmania. So I think Alex Pierce and designed by Carly Gray and the, um, oh, the doctor's yeah. captain... Alex Pierce, those two are friends hailing from yeah country in Tasmania. So they've got the part of Tasmania down the bottom left just to represent where they're from and then the meeting places. And I assume that their seagulls are maybe birds of like the Frio area. That's so cool. It's funny that Tasmania is on, on like a WA Guernsey. <laughs> yeah, like what we'll I've seen with a lot of them though is like, because um, a lot of players obviously from everywhere. So some mm. clubs have gone with the, to show bits of, um, where some players and teams, like where a lot of players are actually from, even if they're not from Melbourne, like with the Brisbane yep. jersey with the Ash McGrath, because he's like originally WA. So they got the Swan River from WA in there, as well as the Brisbane River and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool how they incorporate mm -hmm. where the players are from and stuff like that. No, that is sick. Um, I'm going to grab the Gold Coast jersey. I'm going to put it in great but i am leaning towards going higher potentially as well great and good just in between it for me so i definitely can lean towards great but yeah they've gone again like with the um similar to the other clubs with the meeting places um the mm. big meeting place in the middle but i like how they just like you know kept it simple but also incorporated a pretty wicked design but um yeah so see how they've got like the people sitting like the meeting place again but with the um like the lines next to it Yep. Yeah, so that can either represent, um, sometimes when there's like one or two, that could represent like male or female, or they've just gone with like all male, so it might represent the footy club, or like like the male, like the players. But um, yep. then again, also the different tribes and different areas, it's all different across Australia. So like yeah. some, some <laughs> things might mean different things, like for instance, like where I'm from, where we say kangaroo, we say marilu, but in Perth, they say yonga. So it's like speaking Spanish to someone else, like you have no idea. Yeah, right. And how far away uh, from you from to Perth? Like, yeah, so I was are? six hours, so right in the bush. Um, so in six hours, there's a different language. Yeah, oh, even like, mate, an hour down the road. But wow. Yeah, so like, there's definitely some words. I think the only word that's spread across the whole Australia that's the same in every language is jinnah, which is foot. But I'm, <laughs> I believe that's the only word across Australia, so like... Yeah, just there's what, over 300 different languages. So, yeah, I remember going up in school and twi um, in uh, Gold Coast and kids are looking at you like you meant to know like what all these Aboriginal yeah. words are and stuff. But, mate, I've got no idea. Like, your guess is as good as mine just because the language is so different. I like how big the meeting place is as well compared yeah. to the other Guernseys. Like, it's very prominent. So, yeah, um, yeah, I rate it. I'm going to go with the dogs and I'm going to put it in... 
I'm gonna go for great for me. Nice. Um, with, just because I, I just like the whole the whole color scheme they got going. Like, I don't know. It's like yeah, there's a lot going on, but I feel like it just works for me. I don't know. Just I just like the whole the whole look of it. I think like it's the eel going through the middle. So, but I just like how it all works. I like the white, even the white like collar neck. Like it just just yeah, just the whole. I don't know. Just you can just tell that's the dogs running out, and it's just a nice. Nice overall design, I reckon. I'm gonna grab, so this is another one of my favorites, but the Hawthorne one, I'm gonna put it in, outstanding. Outstanding. I'm, I'm <laughs> I reckon, I reckon it looks unbelievable. And I like that they've incorporated, like I'm a sucker for animals as well. Yeah. And I like that they've incorporated that and it's very prominent. I like the sort of simplicity of just the gold Guernsey. Um, yeah. As, as like the base and then they've laid it with a lot of sort of intricate design so I'm a big fan of it yeah no nah, def definitely looks good I'm thinking great but just yeah no nah, definitely definitely looks wicked and I believe I don't I can't pretty really count all the little people but sometimes they it's easier to know what the meeting place means when some of them might have like eight what 18 or 22 um, players sitting around in the inside circle I'm not actually sure I can't actually count why well, it's probably not that good but um, <laughs> yeah so some of them uh, might represent the actual footy team on the inside and they have like coaching staff on the outside but um, yeah. yeah so that one's got definitely got a nice meeting place there and then the hawk but yeah it is it is a clean jersey it's a clean shirt jersey so we've seen the meeting place on most of the the Guernseys. So what, what significance does like a meeting, a meeting place have in indigenous culture? So it's just a way to like represent the, like the area really and like a place where people are from and just remember like, to symbolize people and like coming together. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's basically what all the meeting place is. But um, yeah, they can mean a very, like a, they can mean multiple things like your school, um, where you grew up, uh, like for like your footy clubs and your football players yes yeah, so that's what the significance of the meeting place really is just a coming together of people and just making everyone feel welcome I'm gonna go with I'm gonna say Adelaide and I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards good for the crows I don't know if it's nothing against the crows but I'm just not a biggest fan <laughs> of those colors to be honest but um, yeah it's very dark yeah exactly like similar to like the Essendon here you know it's and there is a lot going on. It's definitely like a wicked story behind it. But yeah, and then they've got the, um, I believe the emu footprints on each side. So that's how we draw like the, see the, um, like the, like the. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So they've got that little white emu footprint. Oh, we say it's emu, that could mean, um, that could mean something else from that area. Oh yeah, and with the, um, with the emu, or oh, could be emu or a bird footprints as well. They can all mean like just a, a journey, like they're not necessarily mean they're representing the animal, but I guess there's a crow in like the Adelaide. But mm. um, yeah, it just could mean like the, just a journey of like coming together. So again, they got the meeting place in the middle, it just rob probably represents like Adelaide and or where the families are from and stuff like that. I'd say tigers are good. What do you reckon? Well, I love their clash kit yellow. That yellow design gets me every time. So, yeah. I, I like it. You leaning towards the, great? Nah, nah. I, nah. I, I'm happy with good. Yeah. There's a fair bit happening on the sash. Yeah, it looks like, I believe it looks like an Aboriginal elder, maybe in like a Dreamtime story, I believe. I haven't actually gone through it, but that's what it looks like. It looks like definitely a person there standing up. It looks like he's pointing at something. But, um, yeah, so probably a Dreamtime, Dreamtime story incorporated on the sash, but... Yeah, I reckon they. I like the yellow. The yellow sick out stands out, makes it makes it all pop, mm. which is cool. Yeah, I reckon the pies. I'm gonna go good. I like how less is more. Yeah, the whole <laughs> just jersey just looks sick in my opinion. Like I just, I like how less is more. You know what's going on. Um, I couldn't actually tell you what those those symbols are here, but I definitely mm. see like again like the meeting places on each side. But um, yeah, I reckon this looks wicked. The only club we haven't done yet. Uh, besides the double ups is West Coast. I actually like how symmetrical it is, to be honest. Just zooming in now. I might put it up quite high. I reckon I'll, I'll put it in great. Yeah, I reckon no, the that's, Eagles that's, can go great. That's a good spot, I reckon. All right, we've only got three more to go, and they're sort of the double ups of the Guernseys we've done before, so let's fly through them. Um, the D's home jumper, does it stack up to the Royal Blue? Where do you reckon the D's one should go? Definitely not outstanding, I reckon, just because that that nice blue colour at the top. But um, 
with the overall design, I'm thinking towards a good. I don't think it's yeah. quite in a great category, but I'm leaning towards good. And we got the lines as well. So their first kit is in great. It's sort of the reverse of that same design. I'm probably leaning towards good as well, like yeah, similar to definitely. their home jumper. Yeah. And then we got the Suns one as well, the bluer version. I actually like the blue. I'm not like, where have we gone with the The Suns is already in great. Yeah, I like yeah, the well, blue. Yeah, I chucked it in great because I like yeah. the red. <laughs> I, reckon, I reckon that can slide into great as well. I like that blue color. It's just nice. Stubber, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I really appreciate your time. And um, yeah, let people know where they can they can check you out because you're doing some great things all over the internet. No worries. Cheers for having me, Kados. Um, yeah, mate, we're stubborn with two A's because someone's taken stubborn with one <laughs> A's and then I've gone, oh. when I've got my Instagram back and then I'm stubborn with three A's. So you'll find me somewhere <laughs> along there. But um, yeah, no, nah, thanks for having me, man. It was wicked. Mate, awesome to have you. Hopefully we can do one of these next year as well. Thanks to everyone who's tuned in. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching the videos and I'll see you all for some more content very soon. Cheers.